Hi, it's John here again. Um, so today I just wanted to speak about how do you update your dial, so the R710, in 2023. So unfortunately because the server's end of life, it's quite difficult to get all the updates uh, easily. So I wanted to show you with regards of updating my dial server. Okay, so what we'll need to update our server. So we'll need a flash disk. In my case, I'm just using a USB 2, a 16 gigabyte flash disk. And then the next thing that we'll need is the ISO itself. After a lot of searching, I managed to find a nice ISO. A gentleman by the name of Alan has created a nice blog post and his own Nextcloud instant where you can download an ISO that has pretty much, I'd say, 99% of the latest firmware and drivers for the dull uh, R710. So I'll put all these links in the description, but if you go to his forum, he's got a link here on where we can download the ISO. So I'm going to download the ISO. Just a note that the ISO, as you can see, is uh, 2.1 gigs. So just make sure whatever USB you're using, it's at least outside 4 gig and up, you'll be fine. Okay. So the ISO is almost finished downloading. Okay, once that's downloaded, we now need to get the software to uh, write the image to a bootable USB. So just as a note, my primary laptop that I use is a Mac and I tried to use Edge on there. I've tried everything and it wouldn't create a bootable USB. I also tried uh, on a Linux machine using like Popsicle, the same thing, it just wouldn't boot. So the only software that I've got to create a proper bootable USB was to use Rufus. So what I'm going to do is go to Rufus website now just be careful there's a lot of fake website adverts taking you to it's pretty much that it's all these scams so make sure you you go to rufus.ie from there we can download rufus directly from their website so in this case i'm just going to download the portable one the 64-bit uh, version the next step is to plug in your usb i've plugged it in as you can see here and then I'm going to go yeah, to Rufus, open up Rufus, no for now, and all you have to do is literally select the ISO, and that's it, you don't need to change any other settings, so this will create a, a beautiful USB for both BIOS and um, the UEFI, and we can click start. Okay, please note this process takes a long time, especially this USB that I'm using is quite, it's a very old, it's like a 10 year old USB 2 uh, stick, so yeah, I'll come back later once it's done, in about 17 minutes. Okay, so that's done now, so it's been, yeah, 17 and a half minutes, so it takes a bit of time. But that's done. So now we can eject it. And I'll see you at the server. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the USB in the back port um, of the server. And then in the front I've plugged in a keyboard and mouse and then a screen. Once you're ready, you can turn on your server and then let it start booting. Uh, once it gets to the logo of the DAL, you know, the DAL logo displays. From there, you can start pushing F11. You can just spam it a bit. What that does is it opens the boot menu where we can then go and select the USB stick and it will start booting from there. Once it has booted into the live ISO, it will automatically check your server, see what needs to be updated and it will start updating it. Um, as you can see from this video, I've already done all my updates, so it won't find any. 
but if your server is running obviously older BIOS and firmware it will detect that and it will start installing all the new um, firmware and, and BIOS uh, for you. Yeah, so the ISO didn't have all the updates it had about it was literally one update that it didn't have for me so my life cycle um, firmware was not updated so I had to go onto their website download it and manually um, install it via uh, an operating system so in this case I, I installed Proxmox on the server and then through Proxmox I installed the update I won't show you how to do that in this video but I did do a write-up of it which I'll leave a link in the description for you but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one